All right, what's up, everybody? Finally, get some gloves there. Oh, we had gloves. Put some gloves on our on our dwarf guy here. All right, now we're entering we're entering into another room that's a pretty big challenge. So we're gonna use our archer to try and fish out as many people as we can. All right. This right here is how we wanted this to work. All right, move freely. Look, it was taking an ass whooping. Like I said, I'm just gonna let Alistair take a take a dirt nap. Actually, no, I'm. Yep, yep, yes, yes, I am. All right. Like I said, I, I was gonna try to get the taunt off, but it didn't seem to work that way. All right. Hit that. There we go. Here's one of the flaws in the game that that the uh, character tactic setup can't really uh, solve. Like Alistair went down in that battle, but everybody else still has their flame weapons. So I gotta manually recast flame weapons. It's not so much a big deal with like flaming or like enchanting weapons like that, but like the haste ability is uh, the one that has like a 67 cooldown, 60 second cooldown time. That's the one I don't like doing it on. And this room is really hard if you don't release the dogs. But the fact is you get three Mambaris, which are some of the best allies on the game. Like we was talking about, we saw my dog meat earlier. This room becomes a breeze. Well, this whole hallway becomes a breeze. Which is the final stretch of the uh, Tower of Ishal. Remember we got three Mambaris right there that I kind of rushed into this room, but let's go ahead and pound our way into it. Uh. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Let's get out here. I need... All right, yeah, like the Mabaris actually saved my support there, <laughs> so I'm in debt to them. There we go. All righty then. Um, you kind of see how my mage is working out, my mage. Um, it's basically, I set them up to 50% health. Because, one, when they use their spells, they're using their spells to eliminate an enemy and not weaken an enemy. And when they eliminate an enemy, that's uh, one set of damage that's no longer a threat to you in battle. And I, I've always found that a better, a better alternative. And it leaves, it, it leaves them to not blow their mana as quickly as humanly possible in battle. That way, if you multitask them with like a healing spell, they um, they're not almost 100% worthless 10 seconds into the fight, and that's the that, that's the main reason I do it like that. And this is gonna set us. All right, what I want to do here is we're going to inventory. All right, we picked up some arrows fire arrows so I kept these things right here I don't need to save it because it's gonna save since I enter this right here is the boss fight at the tower and um, this boss fight is tough I, I played it I've, I've done it on nightmare on the on the PC 
But um, let's go and we'll let you watch this cutscene. Alrighty then. Alright. Alright, first thing I want to do with the mage is I want to make sure and use weaken. So let's go ahead and spells weaken. And what that's going to do is it's going to make. You see that big white cloud around our guy? That makes his attacks do. Le oh! Alright, see, now we're in trouble. Alistair. Oh, he resisted. Let's see if, uh, da 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 da. Pinning shot, crippling shot, shattering shot. Yeah, uh, is that's a setback right there. Alright. See, he resisted. Drink potion, drink potion. Alistair's got to tank this guy solo. So I'm hoping we're going to go back over here and use weaken again. I'm hoping he doesn't get grabbed. You see that grab attack he put on uh, Durin, which. There we go. He is down. That grab attack is a killer, dude. It's a killer throughout most of the game. But we got through the we got through the through it pretty easily. And now we got to light the beacon. And there's a level up for Duran. Go ahead and skip the cutscene. Um, what happens? What happens here is Logan sees the signal that that we were set to make. You would the, 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 I will stay. And um, he basically pulls his troops. All righty. So we get twenty-two decks. Let's go to twenty-eight strength. I don't need combat tactics for this character because it's the one I'm going to mainly be controlling. So, uh, all that requires cunning. Um, yeah, actually, I might new need it because I'm, I'm going to be switching around. And that's going to open us up to... Let's go ahead and grab shield cover. Because I want to get that, I want to get that flanking one right at level nine. That keeps you from being able to get backstabbed. Let's go and select tactics for Durin. He's a defender. So taunt, shield bash, shield pummel. That is about right. Let's go and keep him like that. Small round shield. Alright, so here we're going to pick up Morrigan and Dog, which are two permanent party members. Not like permanent aspect, we're going to keep them, but like they're actual part of your, your party throughout the game. We no longer will be having stand-in characters. But I, I, I kind of like having the Tower Guard and the Circle Mage have class. Is bubbly. The I've been using the archer a lot on the tower guy. I'm wondering if I actually will need Liliana. We're going to pick her up and try her out. We're going to pick Stan up just to have Stan. And I'll show you how to get Stan in case people are just starting to play the game. Right, let's go ahead and level Alistair up.
do do do. Uh, monster grab shield defense. What now? All right, Morrigan. Morrigan has a a unique arsenal of spells, and I'm gonna be going for Cold of Cone right out the gate, mainly because Cold of Cone is such a good. Um, It's such a uh, enemy. We're going to do the same thing here. Health. 25% enemy health. 50%. Go ahead and do it like that. Uh, drain life. We're not going to use that at all. We won't set this to range short. Enemy. So I, I don't want her to use it only when she's surrounded, but I do want to use it when people are hitting her. And we're just going to set her up to enemy, party member, the target of party member, main character. Go ahead and uh, use the attack on him. Set her to ranged. What Actually, I can go ahead and give her this stuff. Right. We're not going to use a short bow. That can go. That can go. That can go. Which one? Elm? Ash. Elm can go. Alistair can put on that. Sell that. Sell. Probably using the study stuff here in a minute. Actually, that gray iron chain mail probably. How's that match up to. Just put that on because I can't stand the way Alistair's armor looks right now. It looks um, dirty. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, that looks. It doesn't look as bad. Doesn't have nice dwarven armor like my uh, Durin does. All right. Let's go ahead and up, and we're going to get a random encounter right here. We meet Dog. Expect each of you to supply these men. Cursors. Are <laughs> right, these are all low, low grade? Um, these are all super low grade uh, dark spawn here. They still hurt like a motherfucker. I've always wondered, is it... <laughs> Switch around. Alright, that should keep us alive throughout the rest of this battle. I've always wondered, is it better to go for the, uh, the yellow name straight up and just hit them with everything you got at the beginning of the battle and then clean up, clean up the mercs? Or is it better to tank the yellow guy? with his increased chance to hit and damage and take care of the yellow mercs to take away more to take away more basically uh, swords from fighting you alright so yeah we pick up dog right here which which we probably won't be using him at all uh, we gotta resupply ourselves with some potions when we get to this loathering town Why would it auto save there? Hmm. 
probably after uh, Lothering. I'm going to take a little break because I'm out of water. Well, I'm getting close to it. And it's kind of hard talking for two or three hours at a time. You guys should try it sometime. Pay no damn tolls. You could certainly try to ramsack our uh, corpses. Like for this case, 100% agree that you should just hit this guy with everything you have. There we go. All right. We surrender. Pick yes, the wrong yes, target. Hand over everything yes. you've stolen. Yes. Now you die, sucker. Right. Right. You kind of missed the circle mage. <laughs> battle we use two more pots gold ring which the gold rings all they do is just sell for more money than the ir standard irons oh and we get a potion back so we only use really one potion that battle Going into loader ring. If you're looking for safe shelter, it's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in loader ring. Back. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and take the money oh, here. You you Cause I can use Fester's gifts to make up for uh, look, stranger, what people want to do. You drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm not you actually I'm gonna take the money and get the discount here. Alright. Sell the short bow, sell all the junk. Sell. Sell Morgan's robes. Morgan can wear that, and I can wear that. Those right there are useful versus dragons, which we will be using when we get to dragons, but they're not so useful right now. Go and buy the firebomb. Let's get the two acid flasks. The two health potions and the two lyrium potions. Mm -hmm. Large. There's a better shield for me. And buy the freezing bomb. I think Mobob. Go over here and get the channer board thing done. Alright. Let's go get Liliana and go and get her and replace the Mabari here. The reason I bought the uh, thingamabob is Liliana had, is a rogue. The rogues come standard with uh, poison making. And I'm hoping she can... Uh, and I can use her to lob grenades as well. Now kind of thin out some of the combat in the early stages of the game. Because grenades do a lot of damage over area. All right, let's go and get him down. I forgot to put my shield on. Commander! 
There we go. All right. Good. They've learned their please. No, I want the experience. But they fail. But I do, son. I want to kill them on the experience. Mm. Just like that. Done. This is a this is a pretty easy fight because you get five people to fight it. Real easy. I followed. Let me. Look. I knew after. How I thought you might say that. But you see. That. That. Alright. We're going to take Dog down. Indeed. Pick up Liliana. Alright. Commander's hiding 12 silver on me, huh? How much poison making do you have? Poison making. She can use the firebomb. Freeze bomb. She need a flask and a corruption agent. Which we need to make some potions here, so we got to get some flask anyway. I got other gear to sell. Show me what you got. Let's go ahead and buy like 50 of these bitches. There we go. Let's go and buy 8 elf root. Buy life stone. He doesn't have the corruption agent though. Hmm. Go to Morgan and have her make some potions. What there we go. 